everyone, today I am sharing with you my November empties. It is a few days early, but I wanted to get it up before vlog days started, and I'm also filming in front of my office tree, simply because my husband is occupying the other room, and this is the only place that I have to film today. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have quite a few products, um, for some reason. I haven't had this many in a while. The first thing that I have in here is an Olay body wash. I really just kind of wanted to take a break from the Bath & Body Works um, body washes for a little bit, so I use this one. This one I've had in my coupon stockpile room. Um, this is the Olay Silk Whimsy Cleansing Body Wash with Rose Extract and Almond Oil and I really did like this. I think this set is really nice. If I was gonna just decide not to use Bath & Body Works anymore and go towards more of like, I don't know, something that like if I went to Target and just decided to pick up a body wash I would probably choose this one again. I really did like it and it lasts you a while because it's a pretty big bottle. I have um, two hand soaps. I'm trying to get them out. The first one is this Vampire Blood. This is in Plum. I used this one up. Um, and it was okay. I mean, the scent was nice. But my husband and I discovered that these antibacterial soaps super like are super drying on our hands. Um, both of our hands are so dry right now. Um, so I don't know that I'm going to purchase the antibacterial soaps anymore. But we used that one up. I do have some more that I need to use up of that as well. The next one is the Ice Ginger Bed, which is kind of weird because it's not even Christmas time yet, but we've already finished this one up. And the reason why is because once fall was kind of, once I was kind of done with fall, basically I decided to try and find like some Christmassy kind of hand soaps in my collection. Because you guys know normally like if it's not all the way used, I will save it for the next year. And this one only had a tiny bit left. I don't know why I saved it. I must have just been super over it. Um, so we use this one up really quick. And this one was pretty nice. Um, like I said, I'm not sure we're going to be purchasing the antibacterial anymore just because they're so drying. I used up some candles. This first one is Pumpkin Apple, and I know that this is a lot of people's favorite candle, but it just was not mine. I just didn't like it. Um, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't a scent that I hated. If it was, I would have exchanged it for a different one. I did burn it, and it was fine when I burned it. It's just not my favorite. It's not one that I would repurchase. I don't know. I'm just not like a super apple-y fan. It just, I don't know. I wasn't crazy about it. This one also gave me a very hard time burning. Like halfway through it, it was burning uneven and the wicks were too short and it was just not working very well. Um, so I'm happy to be done with this one and I do not plan on repurchasing that one in the future. The next one is this Blackberry Spice Candle and I believe I purchased this last fall and I had it left over in my little candle collection and I love this set. I feel like this is like one of the perfect the most perfect fall set. It just smells amazing. I love it. I'm really sad that they didn't come back out with it this year. Um, this would definitely be a scent that I would repurchase. I just think it is just like the perfect fall scent. So I'm sad to see that one go. It smelled amazing. The next one I have in here is leaves. Now I had purchased this leaf candle a while back when I lived at home when I was still in my bedroom back at home and I burned it and it was way too strong. I hated it. My mom hated it. So I brought it back and I just kind of been you know, put off from leaves for a long time. And then I smelled it in the store and I was like, you know, this one does really smell like perfect fall. And it is. It is amazing. I burnt it in my house and I loved it. I will definitely be purchasing this every single year from now on. I think now that I'm in a bigger space and the candle has more room to kind of, you know, throw its scent, um, it's just nicer. It's not, you know, if you were burning this in your bathroom, it would probably be way too overwhelming. Um, but in a larger space, it is nice. So I did like this one. I will repurchase. Let's see what else I have in home. I have one household product. This is the Spray Away World's Best Glass Cleaner. Um, I use this all the time. This was in my, I think, clean, like, like spring cleaning products video, like my favorite cleaning products. I'll link that down below if you're interested. Um, and I talked about this. I love it. I will always repurchase it. I already have a new one. So if you're looking for a new glass cleaner, try that one out. I have a Rio Rumberry body lotion from Bath & Body Works and I just have to pat myself on the back because I used up a body lotion. It takes me forever and a day to use up a body lotion. This one has been sitting under my sink forever and I just decided to pull it out and use it up because it needed to be gone. So I used it up and I'm very happy. I really did like this Rio Rumberry scent. Um, I have this spray bottle, the fragrance mist, and that one's almost gone as well. I just really liked this scent. So I would repurchase that one. I don't know if they still sell it or not, but I would repurchase that. Um, the next is my 3 Minute Miracle from Ozzy. I'm not even going to mention it too much because I have talked about it in a million videos. I love, love, love this stuff. If you are in the market for a deep conditioner that is inexpensive, check this one out. I think it's like 3 bucks at Target. It is amazing. I've already repurchased it and I swear by it. I've tried some higher end ones and they just don't compare. 
The next thing I used up was the Yes to Tomatoes um, makeup remover wipes. Now I have mentioned the Yes to Blueberry wipes and I have said how much I enjoy them. Um, these I did not enjoy. They were just super drying on my skin. I don't feel like they helped my acne at all. Um, so I won't repurchase these. They were just too drying for me. I mean, if you don't have dry skin, maybe try them out. But I have really dry skin and these just made them worse. So I won't be repurchasing those. This next thing I used up was actually a sample that I requested from womanforthese.com. I will link that below as well. These are the Tums um, Antacid Chewables. These are really good. If you need Tums, if you use them occasionally and you don't like the taste of them, for me I feel like they taste like chalk. It's disgusting. Um, try these out. I hardly ever use Tums. I really honestly never need them, but there is the occasion when I do, and these are good. These like just taste like a Starburst candy, so... Try those out if you guys don't really like Tums but you need an antacid. I have two other things left. This is a Revlon Colorstay Blemish Concealer. I have used the dickens out of this thing. Um, I can't get any more out. I did like it. It's kind of like a light to medium coverage. I don't think I'd purchase it just because I need a little bit more of a heavier coverage, I think. But this was nice if you just need like a light um, coverage. Check this one out. It was only a few bucks, I think, at CVS. The last thing I have in here is the Naked Bar Soap Company um, Lemongrass Grapefruit Foaming Sugar Scrub. I received this in a little goodie bag when we went to Blogfet, um, and I used it up, and I was just, I don't know, I wasn't a fan. Sorry. I just wasn't a fan. It really honestly just reminded me of like a normal bar of soap, and it was not very exfoliating. It smelled like just a normal bar of soap, and I just wasn't a fan. I, I don't know. I just didn't like it. I think this little container is like biodegradable and all that kind of stuff, which is cool, but I don't know, just didn't like it. So that is my empties for November. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and that is all of my videos for this year. Now starts with vlog days, which I'm really excited about. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for vlog days as well, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!